Hey everyone, it's Lindsay, and today I'm going to talk about how to help your course stand out. You may have heard the saying that nothing under the sun is new. And what this can mean for you as a product creator is that even though you think you have this fabulous and amazing idea in your head for a course or a new product, that as soon as you go online and you start to do your research, you realize that everybody has already done this, that it's already out there on the internet. And that can be a little frustrating and disappointing too, because you think, you know, there's already all these people doing this. What makes mine different? If all these people already have this product, I guess it's not a good idea anymore. But I'm gonna talk about in this vlog why that is not the case, and it's actually a really great thing if your idea already exists out there. There's another saying that says, there is a lid for every pot. And I love this saying because it applies to teaching and learning as well. There is a teacher for every student. And regardless of what other courses you see out on the internet today, they're not yours. And they're not necessarily with your audience because you bring in so much more than just information into your teaching. You bring your journey, your experience, how you learned things, all of this good stuff is wrapped up into your course. And that's what makes yours unique. And that is what brings certain people to your course because of your journey and who you are as a teacher. So what can you do? How do you stand out? Well, you can go ahead and bedazzle your lid. You're gonna make yourself stand out against your competition and the other products out there. You're going to share more about you and more about your experience, and then also in the way that you teach something back. Now think about some of your favorites and least favorite teachers you've ever had. I'm sure they have two very different styles of teaching. For example, I remember my like sixth grade English teacher was just horribly boring. She just talked and talked and talked and made us copy things off the board. And then in the sa at the same time, I had this amazing science teacher and he was crazy and he would scream and he would do all these different science experiments. He was amazing and a completely different teaching style. But you know what? Some kids didn't like that. Some kids did not like the confusion that he had in his class and he was not their favorite teacher, but he was mine. And that's what I wanna to emphasize to you is that even though there's other products out there, there's other science teachers, there's other English teachers, you can still be the best one for your students. You may have heard of something called the red ocean versus the blue ocean in terms of marketing strategies. Well, the idea of the blue ocean is that there is this whole big wide ocean out there and plenty of fish in the sea for you to go after. But I don't want you to go after all of those fish. I want you to find the specific fish that is just for you, your niche. And I only want you to give them the food and the bait that they want, not the bait that you know all the fish in the sea want, not just like the worm. You wanna give them their special treat, the one that only they like and that you are just talking to. And this is going to be your niche. You're not worried about the big ocean and getting everybody to buy. You are working about your specific audience and your target. And when you do this, this is how you find your true buyers. Not the people who will buy once or maybe they'll buy and they won't really like your product so they'll ask for a refund. You will find the people who want exactly what you offer because you are you. It's not necessarily about the information you're providing. It is about who you are as a person, your experiences and how you share your experiences and make them a learning experience for others. And yes, marketing does matter. It, it does matter how you present yourself, but the more specific you are to your audience, the more likely that you're going to have your true buyers and the true people who become those fans who love you and purchase everything that you have to offer. Now, just to wrap this up, 
Finding your niche isn't always that easy. It, it can take a lot of investigation. That doesn't have to hold you back though. You can continually investigate and talk to your audience and get more and more specific as you're developing your course and as you are launching your business, you can still continue to work with these people. And in fact, I encourage you to always be talking to your audience and getting more specific and finding out what they need right now and what they want in the future. So just to summarize, even though you see other products out there, it doesn't mean that you can't create your own because yours is going to be unique and special based on who you are and how you deliver the information. I'd love to know what you think. Leave me some comments below. Talk to you soon.